Hi guys, this is Nicole Page and welcome to my page. As you can see here, I am putting together a Valentine's Day bar um, for my kids as a surprise. Here I am showing you ingredients for this cereal treat. It includes strawberry banana Cheerios, um, yogurt fruit snacks and dried strawberries and bananas those would be freeze-dried and you can see i'm putting that all in the jar near the end you can see um i added um coconut flakes just to fill it up more um this you could eat dry as a snack or you could have it with milk i enjoy it with milk it is a good snack to have it's healthy and you can have this dry or with milk like I said. So as you can see here, I'm just putting it all together. Um, the fruit snacks um, are individually wrapped. So I was sitting there like unwrapping all of them and pouring them in as you can see right here. These are yogurt covered um, fruit snacks or you could go in the baby aisle and get the yogurt bites whatever one you prefer i prefer these ones oops lost some there so as you can see we're just adding all the um fruit snacks like i said they was individually wrapped so this took some time i did try to prep before the video by opening up all the packages prior so i could just toss them in but these are two boxes of fruit snacks, so it took a while. As you can see here, I'm adding the dried coconut. You can use sweetened or unsweetened. I had used unsweetened here. And my hands are washed, so you can see I'm just mixing it up right now. I would have preferred um, to have added more cereal to get it full, but... Where I was adding a scooper in it to scoop it out, this works perfectly fine. And like I said, I did add coconut to fill it up and just add a little to it. So, yeah, this is a um, very good snack. I seen this um, snack on a, a Book of Faces post and yeah, and we've been making it and it's really yummy. So, yeah, so I'm just mixing this up. As you can see here, I'm trying to like fluff it up to make the jar look more full. But like I said, I did end up adding a scooper in it at the end so it did um, fill the jar. And this big cookie jar here I got from Target years ago. I got it because I seen um, Chloe Kardashian organize her pantry and she had these big beautiful cookie jars and I had to get them and when I do put cookies in this jar I do stack my Oreos like she does because it's just so aesthetically pleasing isn't this pretty it is a good treat and it is aesthetically pleasing I'm pretty sure you could do this with any cereal and dry fruit but this is the one we like so here's that Next, I am going to do the cookie jar, and as you can see, it's very self-explanatory. I just got these frosted animal cookies, and I just unpackaged them and added them to this um, little cookie jar here. This cookie jar here, I got from a thrift store. I think it was like $3.99 or something. It was a cute find. I do eventually want to get the matching jars that go with the big jar so it could just be more aesthetically pleasing. But this one um, did just fine. And as you can see the theme for this Valentine's Day, I was just trying to do like pink. Um, but yeah, so we did add some reds and stuff because I couldn't find all pink candies. Here is, I'm just filling these two little containers up that I got from the Dollar 25 tree. I had got Hershey Kisses and also strawberry and cream filled hearts. These containers are super cute. They have them every year at the Dollar Tree. Last year I had purchased them and I don't know why I threw them away. So I threw them away. But these ones I am going to be repurposing. 
and I'm, I will be using them in my little bedroom office area and when that is complete I will show it to you I'll probably do a video on that as well and I know this video is late it's after Valentine's Day but you could do themed candy bars like this for birthdays or any holiday coming up but this is the one um, I created for my kids for Valentine's Day I did it while they was not home so it was a big surprise for them Next, I am filling this little heart um, jar, um, not jar, excuse me, bowl with strawberry and cream lollipops. Like I said, when we went to the Dollar Tree to get um, these candies and stuff, they didn't have much. So I'm working with what we could find. These are marshmallows here. Um, last year we did um, heart marshmallows as well, but these ones were different. They are like hearts and they were really pretty and they smelled like strawberry. They smelled so good. So as you can see, I'm adding this to this little cookie jar. This is the baby sister to the big jar. And I believe Target has a medium sized one. So I do want to get two more of these big ones and another of the baby one and two medium ones so I could, um, my counter could be matching. Yeah. So I'm just adding those in there. Let me say these smelled so yummy. They had like a strawberry scent to them. So here's another container from the Dollar 25 tree. And here, um, I added some strawberry muffins, some little heart cakes. Yes, and these little brownie, um, heart brownies and I just filled this container up with those and it was super cute and I was trying to you know lay it out super cute you know I did my best you know came out all right I thought these little hearts um the brownie hearts were like two in a pack I didn't realize they were just like solo ones but they worked out you know the kids loved them they ate them like this candy bar lasted a while so they really enjoyed it. So here I am. I'm just, you know, doing my thing. You know, trying to make it cute. And um, for me, it was aesthetically pleasing. And for the kids, you know, they don't care what they look, what it looked like. They just was chowing down on it. But for me, I was trying to like set it up, like you know, so they could see what was in the little basket. And there, yeah, that's what it looked like. Um, here I am just adding all the extras to the, um, draw. So when things start to run low, I could just refill stuff and everything will be in one little area. So that's what you see me doing here. Everything's all nice and tucked in there. So when things run out, I could just refill. Here is what things are looking like. Oh, that coffee right there, that is strawberry cream coffee from Target Bomb. Here I am going to be creating a Valentine's Day candy salad. Basically, it's just a whole bunch of mixed candy and you put it in a jar. It looks pretty. It's cute. The kids loved it. Um, I got this idea off the other app called The Awk. I can't say the full name, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. This was a viral vid video going around about um, a salad, <laughs> a candy salad, which I thought was cute. And, you know, we struggled getting this stuff for this um, candy bar because when we went to Dollar Tree they didn't have much for the candy and then you know we didn't feel like running to Walmart so thank goodness for um you know the Walmart app and you could have things delivered so we got as much as Valentine's candy as we could to stay with the colors like pink and red but as you can see here that didn't work out too well because the trolleys were not um valentine's day colors they were just hearts um it worked out it was super cute um but i would have preferred just like red and pink but you know it worked out the kids enjoyed it so it wasn't really for me it was for the kids and we wanted to do all gummies and we couldn't find as much gummies as we liked so you know i did my best there was gummies um there was sweet tart hearts because my kids don't like conversation hearts um so it was a lot of sweet and sour candy so they really enjoyed it because that's their favorite here i was looking at this um the thing i just tossed aside was a blow pop 
And I was like, mm, I thought it was just the hard shell of the blow pop and it was the gum too. So I was like, yeah, that's not going to work here. So I tossed it to the side. But here I am adding all these like gummies and everything. Re-looking at what I got. I got bamboozled with the um, Star Patch Kids. Again, I didn't read the um, packaging. I thought they was going to be like little black hearts. The red Star Patch Kids. No, they were just the black hearts. So I was a little disappointed for that. Um, but the kids really did enjoy this mix. So here I am using a fork. Poking the life out of the little gummies. But you know, had to mix it up. As you can see, I was scraping them because I was like, oh no, I'm poking the little things. They're going to be all holy and everything. But you know, girl had to do what she had to do to get this mixed. So here we're just mixing it up and stuff. You can fast forward this part because I'm just mixing candy here at this point. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just mixing it up. Here I am showing it to you. Adding it to this jar here. This jar I also got from the thrift store. It was like fairly cheap. I think it was like $3.99 or something. So here I'm just adding the candy to this jar. And this is where I was saying I want like more of just the same jar so it could be more aesthetically pleasing. I mean this looked just fine. But the kids didn't matter what it looked like. They was just like all for the candy and all the little snacks and stuff. Here I was like, oh, I'm tired of doing it with my hands. It's going to take forever. So I decided to fold that container and just dump them in that container. The little XOXO container I got from the Dollar 25 tree. I call it the Dollar 25 tree because everything in there is a Dollar 25 now. So why are we still calling it the Dollar Tree? Here I realized the jar wasn't full enough. So I added more candy. So here I am just adding all some more extra candies. Those triple heart gummies, like I didn't like, but the kids loved them. They just had a weird flavor. And if I'm breathing hard, I apologize. These candy ropes I didn't use. I didn't feel like cutting them up or anything. So I just tossed those to the side. And I added those to the kids' like little Valentine's Day baskets. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to cut all those up. And the jar was... um. Full enough here. I'm just mixing it again with all the extra candy added. I added in there because I didn't want all the stuff to be sitting on the top. So here is what the Valentine's salad, candy salad looked like. Here it is set up on the dining room table for the kids. I even got them um, strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper because like I said, I wanted everything to match and be aesthetically pleasing. That little teddy bear right there, my husband has surprised me with. Um, so yeah, this was their little Valentine's, um, so yes, this was their Valentine's Day surprise. As you can see on the table, there was a basket and two hearts. The basket was for Ellen, the two hearts were for the boys, and they also got V-Bucks for the game. Bye!